Sports and Hyundai gave themselves work to do after losing to Johor on match day four and with just six points must now try to win both of their final games if they want to possibly advance as one of the best second place teams in the group stage. Patum United are without injured summer signing and domestic leading goalscorer Chanatip Songklasin, as well as fellow attacking midfielder Freddy Alvarez who is suspended after his red card on match day four. Bulsan's number nine, Martin Adam, has three goals in three Champions League games this season and will lead the line again today for Hong Myungbo's side. To the action we go. Bulsan, the visitors, all in white. G. Patum United in their blue and their black shorts. It was, however, the visitors who got off to the better start just four minutes in. Lee Chung Yong. With a shot from just outside the box, plenty of power, but not quite the accuracy required to take the lead. Patum United then with their first chance not long later, and it was a good one as well. A really decent effort there from Danilo Alves, the Brazilian, trying to curl it into the bottom right corner, but just not quite enough bend on it to find the back of the net. 13th minute and back the other way again. An entertaining start to this game. Busan Hyundai then testing a keeper for the first time. Kitty Pong Putaljuek with a good save to deny Seol Youngwoo again from just outside the box. 20th minute now. Busan Hyundai starting to dictate the pace of this game, settling into things nicely and linking up well down the left side. Chance for the opening goal, and there it is as well. A little bit of help from Jacobin Prysuan would go down as an own goal. Great work between Martin Adam and Lee Myung Jae on that left side to create the goal scoring opportunity in the first place. Busan 1 0 up. That in the 27th, they would make it to a little bit of help again from the Patum United defence. Ludvigsen, the Swedish winger, getting the final touch. So the goal would belong to him. A two-goal cushion now for the Korea Republic champions. To the 31st minute now, looking to build on that lead and very nearly doing so. Ludvigsen on the end of the Um Wong Sang ball into the middle just couldn't quite make the contact to find the target. Ulsan, however, in cruise control at half-time. 2-0 up, looking strong in the second 45 as well. 62nd minute, and there was the third goal, and a really well-taken one by Lee Myung-jae. Ataru Isaka picking him out with a lovely ball into the box. Still had work to do. The fine finish finds the bottom corner. Now a two-goal cushion turning into a three-goal cushion. Patum United, who have scored in each of their four games so far, and though they've lost all of them as well, will find the back of the net again on match day five. Sadly, already 3-0 down still. A well-taken goal, Tirasil Dangda picking out Igor Sergeyev to make it 3-1. It was too little, too late. That would be the final score. So uh, still no points for Patum United at the bottom of Group I, while Ulsan go into the final match day looking for another win to keep their last 16 hopes alive and kicking after an important victory on match day five over Thailand's Patum United.